Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and this is another episode of OneNote Snippets. In this episode of OneNote Snippets, I'm going to be going over quickly how to link notes in OneNote to allow you to quickly and easily find notes across different sections or even notebooks. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so I've already set up a section for this kind of example. This is the kind of the most basic section that or example that you would kind of really see. Uh, and it should give you an idea of like what you can do and how you can take this further to use it however you want to. So this is just a simple to-do list. There's a master to-do uh, list item uh, kind of sorted by day um, and then um, there's subtasks between that. Uh, the little the little checkbox here is a default tag. It's like the number one tag. It's always control one uh, and it's always shown right here in all the default OneNote setups. Uh, once you do it to like one thing, it'll automatically send your stuff over. So it's kind of like just like making a bullet list and just like a bullet list when you enter, it'll automatically throw another one there. So whenever you add something, uh, that checkbox is already there. So it makes your life very easy uh, and follows kind of the exact same manner that a, a little bullet list would. So say like in this example, task one is, and two and three are, are more detailed tasks um, for whatever you're doing. Say it's a... Uh, writing a paper and task one could be read the article that you're going to be writing a paper about or read the book that you have to write a paper about or so on and so forth. Uh, and the same ideal can be applied to anything. Um, say you're actually writing the paper, you could actually have links uh, that go straight back to like the sources. Say like uh, the note that says task one is actually replaced by source one and you have the whole article clipped there so you can quickly and easily go back, get quotes, uh, double check facts, and so on and so forth. Um, you can use this for numerous different methods. Uh, linking notes is something that is very useful. So say these quick and easy tasks, they don't need anything else. It's self-explanatory what they do. Um, and then you have this task, which is more complicated. Uh, you can easily go to um, the link button here and in insert link. You can right click link or you can just hit control K. So I'm going to show it one, I have three tasks to show each method. So insert link, and then you can go down to your notes. You can view it across notebooks. As long as it's a notebook that you have open in your OneNote client, you can link it. Uh, and then you just click on the note and then you hit OK. So now that is now linked. Now I'm going to do this the second method method, right click and hit link. Same thing click on task 2 this time. And finally, my favorite method, control K, just the fastest for me using the keyboard. Uh, and then I go to task 3. So there you quickly and easily see how I uh, linked three different tasks um, and allowed you to uh, go to them quickly. So and from the main to-do list, you can click on the task names and you're brought straight to that note and you can start doing whatever you had to do in that uh, linked note. Um, so like this is this is the most basic example. Everything's in the same section. It's very easy to find normally. But if you wanted to uh, go across, you know, take it no even further, you can have a separate like notebook that's kind of like research. Uh, so kind of like I have one that's down here, electronics. I have a lot of electronic research. Uh, anything I find along the way, I kind of throw in there. Uh, and if I'm working on a project, I routinely will link to different research articles, uh, data sheets for different chipsets and so on and so forth. They allow me to quickly and easily get the information when I need it and not have my actual uh, main note that's for the project muddled with attachments for all the different things. And it also makes the those same data sheets and research articles uh, and so on and so forth reusable quite easily because it's not attached to that project it's in its own little notebook so as you see it's very easy to do this there's three different methods kind of just however fits the way you use it if you like using the ribbon bar or you like using the right click or you just like using your keyboard with control k so i hope this video was informative and it, formative and it uh, helped you uh, kind of expand your horizons on OneNote and just gain a little bit more efficiency in OneNote and utilize it um, to the best of its ability.
So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big like. That helps the video in general, as well as my channel as a whole. Uh, make sure you also subscribe to stay tuned for more great videos that I uh, will be releasing from 3D printing to electronic product projects, uh, as well as more videos in this OneNote snippet series. Uh, beyond that, make sure you check the description for different links. Uh, links to my MZ community. It's a social media platform that I'm trying out to kind of have discussions about different news in the tech industry and science and space as well as the videos I'm releasing and just getting kind of feedback, another avenue for feedback on videos and projects. Uh, so thanks for watching uh, and until next time, Zach out.